lecture, I'm going to discuss about how to use rank transformation in ISAS Informatica. So this is the video lecture, 16 is there. So let's see the rank transformation. So first, uh, going to create the new mapping. So let's go on this mapping here. Click on this create button. And when I click on this create button, here you can see a uh, mapping name, name we need to get. So let's write here m underscore rank example. And let's write detail or description. So example of rank transformation. And after doing this one, let's select the source and uh, using their Oracle connection and let's select the tables. So here I'm going to use the uh, employees table. Employees table that I'm going to use because here making the CRD or rank and making the department ID group wise. So group by I want to display highest CRD with the help of rank transformation. Okay. So let's go back and you can see the fields. And after that from this place let's uh, search their rank transformation. So this is rank drag between these two and after that the next is click on this rank. So here incoming and click on this rank and thereafter here or uh, making the rank on salary column this salary column so here if you want top to uh, descending order highest to lowest then you need to select top and from lowest to highest minimum salary to highest salary you need to select the bottom so let's select the top first and number of rows there you need to give so let's give here 10 and you can select parameters, non parameters. So let's make that group. Click on this plus and uh, making the group on department ID. Department ID because here you can see department ID, so many duplicates is there. So make the department ID in group Y after that or uh, display the CRD in uh, highest to lowest. And when it done, let's uh, go here and click on this target and after that let's uh, uh, click there then you can see the incoming and this is your target click on this connection so there I'm going to use oracle com and thereafter that select the object so object we need to select that so here target object let's see here employees underscore tct now the next is after selecting the object we can perform here insert if any records present there or if you don't want to enter duplicate or rows so you need to truncate and after this is here target field is there let's click on this field mapping so here let's uh, click on this uh, smart map first and this here or uh, first name last name i don't want let's click on this on map email also not required so let's click on this on map and let's click on this save first so click on this save and now you can see mapping is valid phone number is also not required now and uh, here let's uh, use this on map and commission is not going to display and uh, here let's click on this on map so there uh, 
the most important column is now salary and the department ID. After that, let's click on this save. And the next is click on this run button. So <coughs> here you can see uh, this is the mapping we have. Click on this run. And now let's click on this my job. So now you can see the mapping is currently running. Let's click on this refresh. And let's click on this refresh. Here you can see this is success. And thereafter, let's click on this employee strategy. And uh, here you can see this is so. Uh, and uh, here 10. So on this 10, there is one record. So oh, this is displaying 4400. 20, it has uh, two records. So this is now highest to lowest. 30 has this number of records. So this is in one group. And here you can see highest to lowest that displaying. 11,000 is highest, 31,000 next, 29, 28. Like that to here, you can see. This is 40 has one record. And if I scroll down here, this is about department ID 100. So first that make 100 in one group. And after that, this make the side on the highest to lowest. And 110 is 2. So here you can see highest to lowest salary that's displaying. If you want to display the salary or like uh, lowest to highest or minimum to maximum, this is too easy. So here let's go on this rank, select this rank, and thereafter, uh, here you can see make that bottom and here save this and click on run and click on run button once again and now here you can see this oh this is so uh, all oh, starting and click on this refresh button And now you can see 107 rows that process. Let's refresh one more time. This is success. 104 rows processed and after making the group wise here you can see only 40 rows that processed. And when I click on in this, then you can see these terms here, department ID. This is here 20, 20 making one group, then lowest salary first, then highest salary. Then or uh, there or uh, this is department ID 30 making one group after that lowest to highest ID that's displaying. So with the help of uh, this rank transformation we can achieve or uh, this so uh, we can make the rank on in any column after that we can process highest to lowest or lowest to highest. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now this video is over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.